One thing in particular that I've been doing a lot of research into as of lately is how crypto and Web 3.0 can reinvent the marketing space. How companies can get more exposure through Web 3.0 than traditional advertising um, avenues. Right now, if you think about how do companies advertise online, whether that's Google or Facebook or uh, YouTube, their main sources of revenue is through advertising and companies pay them to either put a video before a YouTube video or put an ad at the top of Google search. And that's great and everything, but those ads get annoying. And it's a big problem with advertising and in general because that model has not changed in decades it's always been the same since the internet really first started it's how amazon initially grew their business through paid ads on google and i came across a project the other day called gather network that is really trying to reinvent the way businesses can and and creators can monetize um the internet in general and so right now there's three big problems with advertising in like some aspects of cloud computing. The three problems is that cloud computing is expensive. No one likes ads, whether that's the start of a YouTube video, whether that's at, um, you know, on Hulu, whether that's on top of Google, no one likes ads. And the third thing is that there's a limited number of miners. Building a mining community is not easy for blockchain developers. So this company called Gather Network is trying to reinvent how businesses monetize um, like how creators monetize their content, how businesses pay for advertising, and they're doing this by essentially if a company is part of the Gather Network, content creators um, and websites can both generate revenue. The way it works is a visitor goes to a website, whether that's a video platform or any sort of platform, a charitable foundations website, you simply go to the website and it's going to come up with an agreement. You say, agree. Um, to the terms and services of Gather Network. If you agree, well then, the spare processing power of your device um, can be used to then, can, can be used by companies that mine cryptocurrency or deal with cloud-based computing solutions. So there's all these companies that, you know, need cloud computing solutions, but it's expensive to get that uh, computational power. All these people who, Bitcoin mining companies, crypto mining companies that want to mine crypto, but they don't have the, the, the computational power. So with Gather Network, it uses spare processing power of your device to then basically give that to a business that needs it. And then the revenue generated for that is given to both the user, if you're on the website, and to the company that's monetizing it. So let's say you go to a website, for example, a charitable foundation. You go to a charitable foundation's website and rather than them only being able to make money through people donating, if you're on their website, they're part of the Gather Network, you can look through all the different things about their charity. You can read up on it for 30 minutes and that entire time you're on their website, they're gonna generate revenue from your spare processing power that's being lended off and you, the person reading the website, is also going to generate, um, you know, money. They pay out in like gather tokens. They pay out in Bitcoin or local fiat currency. So it's a great way, in my opinion, for Web 3.0 to really reinvent the advertising, traditional advertising model. In my opinion, it's way better because not only does it take away from ads disrupting your experience. Like if you're watching a video, you don't want to see an ad at the beginning, but also it allows people, anyone on a gather network site to make money. You don't have to do anything. It doesn't disrupt the experience at all. You simply accept the terms and services where they can use your spare processing power. You get paid in GTH tokens in Bitcoin or in fiat currency and the company or, you know, whatever website you're on, they also get generate revenue as well. So my opinion, this is a win-win. It makes the advertising experience much more simple, much better. And the potential for this um, technology is limitless. Like you could use it for blockchain developers, charitable foundations, content websites and blogs, streaming platforms. And not only does it benefit the person watching and the companies who like have the website, but also they're able to make more money. Like for example, if you have a website and normally you, you make money from people, let's say a charity, we could just say the charity. 
Let's say you're on a charitable foundation's website. You don't have to donate for them to make money if they're on the Gather Network. Simply you reading on the website is gonna generate the money. But the interesting thing here is normally with Google, there's only a limited number of spots. You can maybe have a pop-up ad, you can have an ad on the side and on the top. There's only a limited number of spots on any particular website. Same with you know Netflix or Hulu or YouTube videos. There's only a certain number of places you could put ads. But with Gather Network, the longer someone is on a Gather Network website, the more money is generated, the more revenue. And it's not like it's hurting anyone. It's There's cloud computing companies. There's people and businesses who need cloud computing services, who need additional processing power, computational power for Bitcoin mining that aren't able to access it. And through you, uh, you know, accepting the terms and services, being part of the Gather Network, you then lend off your processing power without even realizing. So simply, it's able to generate more money because there's not a limited number of spots where, let's say, Google can place ads. The longer you're on the website, the more money that's generated from you know that so-called ad revenue. But it's in a new and improved um, process with Web 3.0. So in my opinion, this company is going to be huge. GTH currently has around a 20 million total, a fully diluted market cap, and they have been written about and invested in by so many big names. Some of their investors are Bitscale Capital, TRG Capital, Master Ventures. Um, they're on a number of pretty big exchanges, Gate.io, Uniswap, Ascend. Their symbol is GTH. And the thing with this company is they are tackling so many of the biggest like market spaces in the world from digital advertising, which is a $455 billion space, to cloud computing, which is a $332 billion per, per year space, to crypto mining, which is a $1.3 billion per year space. They're trying to tackle all of these different spaces with one simple solution. And I think this has so much potential because it makes the advertising experience easier, more uh, like much easier and not as invading uh, for users. So if you're on a website, you don't have to deal with ads popping up. You also make money for simply watching or looking at a website that you would have been on anyways. And companies are able to make more money as well because if you're on the website for longer they make more money from uh you know you using your processing power so my opinion this platform is going to be huge in the future really reinvent the way that advertising is done as we continue to see web 3.0 develop you know, traditional advertising just google ads facebook ads those have been around forever but i think we're going to see a shift in the advertising model from simply placing an ad on a screen or placing an ad at the beginning of a video or placing an ad, you know, like as a pop-up to now using processing power to generate advertising revenue. So this is something that I think is pretty cool. I wanted to share with you guys this. Um, one thing in particular is you can get the token. They have a token GTH. If you're interested, I'm personally going to be buying it. Um, but in addition to this, they have um, some ways that you could provide liquidity through liquidity providers, um, which I'll put a link to on the website. It says you could start winning today by adding liquidity to Uniswap and PancakeSwap. Also, last thing is um, I talked about how they're going to be able to generate uh, advertising revenue, all the different use cases. They break this down in particular into three separate parts of their business. They call it Gather Online, Gather Enterprise, and Gather Cloud. Gather Online is just scalable and predictable revenue. They allow web and mobile developers to monetize from end user processing power. That's why I talked about you know websites being able to monitor. That's one portion of their business. Gather Enterprise is they provide consultancy services and proprietary tooling for web developers, businesses, and crypto networks. And the third is Gather Cloud, um, basically offering affordable processing power to people who want it. So they have three parts, parts of their business. They're really reinventing that uh, advertising landscape, in my opinion. And simply by owning the token, you are going to generate revenue um, for for simply owning it and as they they generate revenue from lending out processing power you'll make money so something that i think is pretty cool they've raised a lot of money they're tackling a pretty cool problem and i wanted to share with you this project so let me know your thoughts hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys in the next episode see ya